I'm Teresa. welcome to my channel thank you for joining me here today today we're going to be using our stash of gel prints so dig out that box of prints that you've been saving for this occasion we're going to create this geometric collage I've done mine inside an art journal but you could do this equally on a stretched canvas piece of cardboard um, anything really that you want to decorate it's it's a it's not a great design that will suit lots of different um, practical purposes i've got some inspiration photos here that i'll be talking about in a moment but other than our prints and a little bit of glue you don't need anything else today particularly so i'm going to clear these out of the way i'll be back to show you how it's done as always I'll begin with a little rundown of what I'm using today and a little bit of a background as to how I got to the idea of what I wanted to do today. I and mean, sometimes people ask me where I get my ideas from. So I'm going to briefly run through the inspiration for today's project as well. We're going to be collaging. So I've dug out some of my gel printed papers. Um, nothing that's on too heavy a card. There is the odd one or two that are on perhaps something that's sort of about a 250 GSM card but for the most part they're on paper, um, tissue paper, sort of printer paper, uh, just sort of like a, a sketchbook paper. I don't want anything too bulky, it's going in a journal and I'm always wary of if you sort of start layering up quite heavy things in there it, it can bulk up quite quickly and affect the way that the book will close. So I've tried to stick um, with a sort of a, a, a fairly pastel colour story here. I've got a, a couple of metallics in there. There are a couple that have got a few sort of brighter neons, but sort of pinks, turquoises, lilacs, blues, sort of a, a nice sort of blend of colours that I think will work together. So as I say, a whole sort of mix and match there that I can use to collage. And the inspiration for the collage today is the Nagakin Capsule Tower um, building in Tokyo. This, you know, if, if anybody who is sort of familiar with some sort of Japanese architecture and, and, and sort of lifestyle, perhaps familiar with this building, very iconic building from the end of the last century, um, sort of epitomizes capsule living in, Jap in Japan, which, you know, we, we do associate very strongly with, with Japan and sort of Japanese cities. Sadly, this building is now being demolished. It's come to the end of its lifespan and, and the powers that be have obviously decided it's probably more financially viable to demolish it, rebuild it with something else than sort of rescue it and maintain it. Um, and it's a shame, it, it is, it's a shame, but I've, I've been seeing quite a bit about that recently on some sort of Japan vlog channels um, because, it, as I say, it, the demolition process has just begun. So I wanted to put that in this journal that I am currently trying to complete. I've recently finished um, an online course. The theme of the course was Tokyo Agogo, and it is all sort of Japanese kawaii pop culture related. And I've got a few pages left in the end of my, my sketchbook and I wanted to sort of just fill them with something else that kind of fits the theme of the, the, the course. So I thought I wanted to do something to sort of memorialise this building. And as you can see, this building, it is all made up of these sort of individual capsules and they all kind of slotted together. So it's all circles and squares, which got me to thinking of the Disney's It's a Small World ride which although a totally different thing um again the design of this designed by mary blair back um last year i think in um, last century in the in the i thought it was in the 60s again squares with other geometric shapes within them so circles diamonds triangles that sort of thing and and i thought that the two of them were not a million miles away and I kind of wanted to, to do something. I thought, shall I draw the building? Shall I sketch the building, but then do it in the Disney colours? What shall I do? And I thought, you know what? I, I wanted to do a collage. I, it's an easy thing to collage circles and squares, geometric shapes. Um, a couple of years ago, I did a Kandinsky-inspired collage with gel prints where that was sort of concentric circles. So this is this is my, my rationale, my thinking of how I got to where I am, a combination of wanting to memorialise this tower, look at the sort of the colours and the shapes of this Disney ride and sort of mash them together into some sort of colourful abstract collage. 
the sketchbook that it's going in is this one here and someone's bound to ask where have i had the sketchbook from um the company is called pith um i'll put their social media links down below it's pith supply um uk based company it's all recycled it's eco-friendly ever so nice recycled board covers um recycled paper pages um this open spine allows it to lie flat which i have loved for for some of the things that i've had to do that are a double page spread the fact that it lies flat has been really good um but a quick little flip through for you to sort of see this the theming of this course that i've done um which as you say is as, as a lot of modern and retro japanese pop culture fashion artists um, some interactive little pages and, and things uh, and I've we, we touched on Disney this was a, a Tokyo Disneyland parade float you know things like Tamagotchis lots of, of anime style illustration style um, I've really really enjoyed even even a little bit of origami here but I've got a few pages left and as I say, I want to fill this sketchbook um, with things that match the theme, even though I've completed the lessons in the course. So I do have a page here, but I'm going to leave that, put something else on here. I want to put my collage on this page here, which leaves me the option to possibly sketch the building as well if I want to, or write something about the building if I want to. So in order to make a start on the collage, I'm going to pre-cut lots of circles um, squares i'm going to use a punch i think a circle punch to do the circles so that they're all nice and neat and save myself a little time use a trimmer to cut the squares um and there's a possibility that i might cut some sort of diamond shapes so that i can almost get some of this this sort of dimension in and again i'll just use a trimmer to do that so i'm going to go away cut myself a load of shapes from my papers and i'll be back to show you how i'm going to sort of put it all together to create my collage so as you can see i've cut out a lot of squares all my squares i've done at two inches and then i used a one and a half inch circle punch um, to punch out my circles I mean, I just use this one here, which is Woodware brand. I also cut some diamond shapes, and these are two inches long, um, so that they've got the same side, but only an inch wide. And literally, they just sort of go up by an inch so that I can create this almost a slightly 3D effect. As you can see, cut out from a selection of papers, tissue papers, some um, flat acrylics, some metallic acrylics, just a little bit of a selection. I'm hoping I've got enough there um, to cover my page. I can always do a couple more if I need to. And to stick them down, you've got a couple of choices. You can use something like a matte medium, a decoupage medium such as this or Mod Podge. Or you can use something like a glue stick. I wouldn't recommend... A PVA glue unless that's all you've got PVA glue will do it but it could cause some of the lighter weight papers to buckle a little bit and um, PVA can be if there's any that sort of seeps out it can be a bit tacky and your, your pages could st stick together so I'm going to stick everything down with this glue stick um, if I feel the need to seal it with the decoupage medium afterwards I will do um, but we'll see I may want to add in a little bit of line work with a pen or a pencil just to define the shapes so I'm just going to use this glue stick for now. Probably pop on a little bit of music just to speed up through the process of me sticking things down. But I've got my reference pictures here to the side just to sort of keep in mind um, what my inspiration was. But it's all going to be fairly abstract. So I'm just going to go with it and sort of arrange the colours and shapes as to something that pleases my eye. the day when we started talking we were kids and i knocked down all of your marbles but you did not seem to mind at all we took our bikes to the lake after school each day and skipped many stones from the beach and one thing you said was listen
safety zone You're solid like a granite stone It came very sad in the day When we moved away from what had been Our homes and forever I was scared then So scared that I would lose you But you call me up right after I touch the ground You wanted to hear that I got there all safe and sound and my collage like that I'm happy with the arrangement each of my squares has either got a rectangle a circle or a triangle in it and you see I, I, I'd got a few of the squares and I, I just either cut them in half or cut them diagonally just to create some extra interest in, in the squares that I didn't want to put a circle in I feel I've got a nice balance of metallics and neons so I think what I want to do though is to outline um, these particular shapes just to sort of define them in the way that they are quite well defined on this building. So for that, I'm going to take a, a pen, a black permanent marker pen and a ruler and just go ahead and draw in all those lines. I'm going to call that done. I'm not going to try and outline the circles. Obviously, I've, I've used a ruler to outline all the, the straight edges. And if I try and do it freehand, it's going to have a bit of a wobble in it. And I think it'll spoil the effect. I'd rather just leave the circles unlined. But I'm very happy with how I've managed to sort of incorporate the design of the Nagakin Tower. And that it's a small world um, Disney ride as well. And just create something that is, is really nice to pop in my journal. And as I say, I think I might sketch out the tower or write a little bit about the tower, possibly cut out and put in a couple of reference pictures on my page, just so that when in the future I'm looking back at it, I can, I can see where I pulled my inspiration from. But once again, hopefully this has given you some ideas on how you can use your gel prints. Um, you know, if, if you're not confident with complicated collage using simple geometric shapes is always a, a safe bet they they work well together and this sort of square and circle format is is really simple to follow and i just like the fact that i've got those little bits of metallic in there the pops of neon it just creates an interesting page to pop into my journal as i said at the beginning i'll pop the link down to my art journal in the description below if anybody's interested um, these come in various sizes this size is called the oro blanco it's the largest one that they do and just for reference this this is a4 printer paper and it's it's slightly bigger than that i'll also pop a link to the tokyo agogo um, course that I've followed if you if you want to have a look at that maybe you want to purchase that course and create your own Tokyo inspired journal 
but if not hope you enjoyed the video um, please leave me a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe hit the notification button all that and i shall see you again soon but for now that's all bye i remember the day when we started talking we were kids and i knocked down all of your marbles but you